you ain't gonna believe this TikTok trick. This is the laziest brake job ever. But the question is, did it work and did it hurt the inside? Watch both the full videos. Hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. And then we started adding the timestamps. So a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. I have been wanting to make this video for a long time. I saw somewhere, you know, TikTok, Instagram, where somebody did this. I thought I got to try it and see if it works. What we're going to do today is we actually got one of these mini uh, ultrasonic cleaners. I can't remember how small this thing is, but it's the smallest one you can get. When you see the selection of ultrasonic cleaners, I'll have to put a link below to it. But same brand as our, our big one that we love. And what they did in a video is they took a nasty old brake caliper, one as crappy as this, and then just submersed it in there and didn't break the line free or anything and then just cleaned the brake that way. I thought that'd be fun. I'll throw the little pins in there, you know, throw the bits and pieces in and why not? It isn't gonna hurt anything. It'd be fun to just see like, how good does this thing do? I've already got some heated up fluid from the main one. Just make sure that you know what I'm talking about. Excuse the mess, still building out the restoration area here. That video is gonna be cool. But like I said, here's our big one. And I've got this uh, already about 130 degrees just to speed up the process for this video. I'm gonna grab some of this and just throw, so that's dirty used water. And I'm just gonna throw a few drops of uh, Dawn dish soap in here. The grease cutting formula. I'll show you what I like to use there. I'm gonna use this stuff. And this isn't even Dawn, but it's the copycat. So I'm going to throw some of that in there. And we're going to let this thing run for like 20 minutes and just see how does it do. If I love it, I'll do the other side. If not, I'm going to go back to traditional old brush and cleaning and do a brake job here on the DL1000. So let me switch camera and set this thing up. Let's do a little bit of four and show the bike was not washed or anything. So this would be like just normal grime too. As you can see with all the bug guts on here, I'm not very good at keeping this thing clean. I like to ride it more than I like to wash it, but pretty typical dirty down in there. So we'll see how that turns out. Let's look at the pins themselves. You always want to inspect these too for any kind of grooves that'll make your uh, brake hang up. So these feel good, but we want to clean them. So let me set the camera back up and keep going. When I first got presented with the ability to get one of these, one thing that I got really excited about was just how much faster it'd be to actually heat up the uh, solution. One thing about these, just kind of start right there, is that if you rely on the ultrasonic heater, it could take a long time to heat up my 30 liter one. So I actually use a supplemental heat source to speed that process because I don't want to leave this on all the time burning up those motors or anything either. So one of the things I've done to speed that up is like I said, I use a supplemental source. So what my goal here is just to kind of get in here. Don't need to clean the bungee cord. And I'm gonna get this in a position where I can immerse it much yeah cool what else is going in here we're gonna throw those in there let's see caliper bit top this baby off okay now I can't put the lid on so oh we gotta plug it in I'll go ahead and just turn this heater on. Keep it up cranked up. I'm gonna go 20 minutes. And then what I'm gonna do to kind of keep some, some of that heat in is just simply create like a little cocoon. So if you've never used an ultrasonic before, this this lid is just to keep the heat in. It's not like it's you're gonna get shocked or you're gonna 
because you're hearing that buzzing, it might kind of freak you out at first, but all we're doing is just trying to keep that heat in there. You know what? I didn't even put any uh, additional solution in. That stuff is pretty old, so let's just try a few more drops. I'm so excited to make videos in the new shop again. Uh, talking to y'all, and that is a lot of soap for probably this smaller unit. So like I said, I'm just gonna, just gonna create this little... Alright, let's see if this TikTok trick works. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do this one-handed so that we can kind of get the maximum. Ooh, she's hot. Let's see what that ended up being at 10. 140, 146 or so, 140s, I'll take it. It was 112 uh, started with, but look at that. Look at the solution to start with. Be hot, so I should probably go get a glove. Yep, <laughs> I'm gonna go get a glove. This is too cool. All right, this is no joke. I mean, this stuff definitely, definitely gets hot, but look at that. Oh, that is funny. I think with a very, very little bit of blowgun and a uh you know, some paper towels or whatnot, that baby's going to be cleaned up pretty dang good. <laughs> what a fun little way to use the ultrasound. Now, here's a good example of how it works as well, too. So if you look, this part of the banjo bolt was under solution, but look at where it was out of solution, like right there to right there. You could see how that ultrasound, it gets in there and basically just vibrates those, you know, that debris. Huh. Remember the pins? Yeah, ultrasonic. My friends, this is cool. What a fun little trick and a different way to use your ultrasonic cleaner to clean your brakes without taking the brake lines off. All right, let's look at this. Two calipers at 20 minutes, and there was the before solution, which was used, like I talked about, and here is the after on this little ultrasonic after two calipers at 20 minutes. So if I were to you know, drain this out, you'd also see all the sediment and stuff in the bottom. I mean, you can't dispute the evidence that it's working and removing, you know, grime and stuff. To me, it's really important, too, when you get done with something, especially if you're using any kind of chemicals, that you go back with just like a soapy water solution and brush it just to make sure that you aren't leaving residue in any kind of brake parts, if that makes sense. We want it just good and clean, and we want to put, you know, lube where lube is supposed to go. And if we have to use thread lockers, we want to make sure that, you know, nothing's contaminated from whatever type of chemical someone might use. So that's just a little bit of a... You know, hey, be careful, do your due diligence, and know what you're working with. I'm going to call this a win. I think this was super rad. Just a fun little thing to see, like, could you do just parcel submersion, you know, parts. I, it's typical for me to be doing, like, entire parts, more like in a restoration rebuild or something like that. So this was fun. Have you joined the channel yet? If so, you get access to many more videos, special benefits, ability to win prizes, all kinds of things. We're going to make a video on the member channel on what the inside of these look like just to make sure that this process is something you should really do. Careful with those TikTok tricks. I'm going to go ahead and keep working on my bike. I want to get some riding in here yet. So anyway, as always, put some comments below what you thought. Make sure and check out the links to get one for yourself. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Make it a great day and keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do it yours. Really people from all over the world, over 200 countries, are using it to get a deep understanding to help themselves or to advance in their career. 
Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's gonna go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. One, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, get access to member-only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions, and get answers on the spot and have a back and forth Q&A session with other members. I'm super excited about that. And with the member, well, it's going to really make it more intimate. We're going to be able to bring that back into more of a community instead of all the yahoos out there just causing trouble and being idiots. This community has always been about helping each other to the questions you got to remember I love YouTube and I want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that I'm trying to do so we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this uh, a community that's attentive so we want to be more relationship focused the other thing is YouTube does it's kind of funny but we're doing the emojis so if you're a new member it's gonna be a green one we kind of went along the lines of like a training does in most uh, certification programs bronze is your entry level a silver is your middle of the road and then gold is your you know top certified but we added one more we added a red one just to say hey thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while so for all you that love that kind of stuff hey it's there for you um, what else are you gonna get what you're gonna get is really honestly in, in my opinion it's really a way just to say it's really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg if you will but to encourage and remind people that hey I, I got a time job like it's on my own buck all these expenses are my own uh, as I move to location Phoenix it's really expensive it costs a lot to be able to do all this and we really do need your help to offset some of that so this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that you know like a deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need so with that being said I hope this has caught your attention look at the options below on the join you hit that join button it'll tell you what tiers you can figure out what works best for you we're already gonna start moving forward making content that's member only I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money so we're gonna get back at it but as always make it a great day and keep wrenching